Okay. So the recorder's still going, so I'm just gonna say that this is the regular meeting of the Brain Tree Select Board. It's September 5th, 2023. Um, and I just wanna take a quick look at the agenda to see if there's anything that we need to add. Do you have a copy of the agenda? I think so. Hmm? Actually, the agenda for the select board meetings on the back of here. Oh, okay. oh, if anybody yeah. wants more. You have the planning commission oh. agenda. This is oh, all right. That's right. Thanks, Kate. It's on the back of it. And it's also, if anybody's interested, uh, the highway report. Yeah. All right. It's on the, oh, yeah. This is for the select I know. Hmm. Where's the highway report? It's just it's there's a pile right there. It's not very long. Yeah. Oh, it's extensive. I know. It probably means there's a lot of you, things you, there. Right. You wouldn't think that the <laughs> only thing we do is maintain our house. <laughs> 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 okay. But nobody has anything to add? We're good? All right. Um. Minutes from August 15th, which was our last regular meeting. Does anybody have any comments or questions about? Those minutes. Move to be approved. All right. Charlie moved? Yeah. Yes. Keegan seconded. All, second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, Mm -hmm. um, does anybody who signed in want to make a citizen's comment? General citizen's comment? Just want to check? Okay, we'll keep moving. Are we uh, maybe a question? Sure, go ahead, Chris. Are we going into winter with our roads the way they are right now? No. How are they right now? I don't understand. Yeah. yeah what are, what, in what sense do you mean that? Just what I asked. Are we, are like we maybe going we into winter with our roads the way they are right now? As far I'm, as I know, yes. Um, <clears throat> but perhaps, could we go for a ride someday? You and I? Sure. I'll, I'll try. Perfect. Depends on babysitting, but yes. Yeah. Perfect. Well, bring them along. Right, you were roaming your car for. I'll try to mend my own. <laughs> <laughs> bring them along. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Any other citizens' comments before we move on? Okay, so we do have the highway report from Dylan. Um, as we said, it's, it's pretty brief, but the gist is that. Um, the Thresher Road project has been um, put uh, on next year's agenda for construction. Um, do I don't know if you want to? The we culvert say below woodchuck, yeah. or above rather. Right. But the water levels and the amount of rain we've had, we weren't comfortable with the contractor being in there, and he wasn't comfortable being in there, so it's pushed off till next year. It sounds like though that the state has done that with. Almost all the grants they gave out for this sort of thing this year, that most of them have been pushed back for the same so the reasons. the grant holds over? It technically didn't, but they gave an extension because <coughs> people in the state were dealing with flood aftermath and things like that. So yeah. next year that'll happen. So really what's going to happen is you're taking that culvert that's there just out and then replacing it? Yeah, right now it's just the concrete box, so it'll be replaced with a metal arch culvert, so a different structure. But. Yeah, I was just trying to figure why it was closed at night. So, oh, still be well, because we got to dig the whole thing out, so there's yeah. going to be a giant hole in the roof. It'd be tough to drive over. Mm -hmm. And there's no way to do it with one lane, so yeah. it has to all go back. Okay. The other part of the highway report was that below Woodchuck, at that culvert that runs parallel to the road, we had what three inches of rain in two hours a couple weeks ago. Overran and washed out a bunch of thresher, so they've been trying to fix all that for the last two weeks, amongst other things. So, that's sort of been our highway, what we've been doing. Um, and then there was one other 
Item. Oh, uh, Dylan's been talking with the state um, to review the work that he did on Duplo this year to um, start the reimbursement process because that was state funded work. Excuse me. <clears throat> Um, anything else to mention? Yeah. Why don't we talk? Let's talk about FEMA right now. How's FEMA doing today? <laughs> Janice, you want to take that and I'll chime in? I will take it, yes. Thank you, Thank you. Yeah. So the call went well. Um, I think it did. And they have scheduled, they will some <coughs> basic information on what we. Uh, need assistance with and they went through their whole list and three quarters of the list had nothing to do with the town of Braintree. Yep. We just don't have those things. Yep. They asked us about bus stops. Yeah. Bus stop, yeah. Really. I don't want to really tell you how like that. many different people from FEMA have called me over the last month asking, and a different person every time asking <laughs> me, you know, like, do you, do you have any damage to your hospital? Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to see it's you. gone. Yeah. <laughs> it's gone. Oh, yeah. gone. <laughs> gone. We're going to need to start all over. I know. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I, well, I was going to get the same thing from Kim um, from the Vermont Patience side. Everybody. And I, she's asking these questions, and I'm like, Kim, no, we don't have this. Yeah. You know, no, we don't have this. We don't have this. But anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> so we did outline what we have already done. And... Um, and what we still need to do, and we discussed the fact that yes, we're going to need to have an in hire an engineer or have the state engineer come in and take a look mm -hmm. at the culverts on Fletcher Road and at the head wall on, on Fairbrook. Right. Nice. And they want they want a hydraulic. They would prefer a hydraulic Good. to look Good. before yes. they come back. Good, because so we'll we want to do it better. Yes. So we want more money. And Dylan's That's already good. talked to the state about that. We did last week, so that should happen. And actually, Sounds why good. we have everyone here who has lived in Break for many years, how does anybody know how old that actual head wall culvert is? Is it younger than 45 years? Oh, I thought because we, that's one of the major questions they were asking. You. I thought we yeah. redid it. But the structure itself, well, we just put like the, 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 the structure on itself. Hydraulic mm -hmm. over it with a bicycle since I was eight, so that's 30 so plus <coughs> years. That's that's what what that's what it, said. It, it said less than 45 years, but we weren't sure <clears throat> the exact date. I mean, we could try to look through some archives and find it. Okay, well, I just, that was just, well, well we had a crowd here. I thought, oh, I thought, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I it's research. Okay. okay. So Howard might know. Ask the Howards. Yeah, I was about to say the Howards might, that's what right. I just said him. The Howards might know, so I can ask them. Yeah. I'll and, call them. And so the next thing is that they've scheduled two more in-person meetings. Yes, So uh, she sent me an email. Let me pull it up. Uh, so the first one is going to be set Tuesday, September 12th, um, here, from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Sorry, Janice, one second. That's just okay. getting my calendar up. Um, that one actually really, really just needs to be me, Dylan, oh, okay. and as, as, as the primary person and contact person. Okay. And then there's another one scheduled for... Um, Eighteenth. The eighteenth. Uh yes. Eighteenth at ten AM. Okay. No, the nineteenth. Nineteenth. The nineteenth at ten AM. Which is the next select board meeting day. Okay, and is so that do you need all just come hang with me all day, okay? Yeah. <laughs> do you <laughs> because there, all right, do you I, need a select board member there? I'll try to be. Yeah, I think so. Okay, I'll put it on my calendar. I'll look at my work calendar and let you know. Okay, and I'll then the other thing she just asked if anybody's ever worked on the portal. Has anybody, has the town of Rancher ever had a, a FEMA project? And I said yes, April 2019, and yes, I worked in the portal. Okay. And that was pretty, it was pretty basic information. Great. Okay, so. fantastic. <clears throat> All right, sounds good, thank you. Okay. Um, all right, so we already talked about the extension of the grant aid project for the culvert. Um, and then returning to the road reclassification issue for Duclo and Wilson, I think one of the last item that we really needed to uh, work out is where precisely we wanted the reclassification to begin. Um, and then uh, did, we did some research into the timing of the process. So essentially, we would yeah, need to um, 
begin by uh, notifying um, all landowners. That's correct. And then once they're notified, we can set a hearing Formal date hearing. Yep. Um, following the it's 30 notification. days. And so I think folks are familiar because we've done this before is we'll have to have a, uh, a site visit and then adjourn the meeting and then come back to the town office to continue the meeting and hear any uh, feedback or comments. Um, and then we have how many days after that? 60 days 60 to make days. a decision after the hearing. Um, so again, this is just a road reclassification, not a discontinuance. And uh, it would be for a portion of Duclo Road and then for all of Wilson Road to class from class three to class four. Any questions or comments? All right, well, if there are no objections, I will ask Janice to begin drafting the letters that we need to send to the landowners if everybody is in favor of moving forward. Obviously, understand that our decision could change based on comments that we receive, um, but we need to take the first step. Are you doing uh, Duclo from the bridge up? Is I don't that, know. You tell me. I think that's what we're. So the only thing I'd like to do for that okay. is if we if we do okay. that, can we talk about making the turnaround bigger so we don't have to have the neighbor park somewhere else? There's, there's no way. Bigger. Yeah, I thought that to was change the, the culvert. Challenge is that that's the problem. Make a longer road culvert, but uh, there's no no way to make it bigger except for putting a longer culvert. Okay. I don't know. Anyway, I'd like to think about it just so everybody okay. knows. I'll probably start when we do digging the into we that. Do the site visit and work it over. Yeah. Okay. Can you ask Dylan to determine like the exact mileage of where the yep. reclassification would occur so we can put that in the letter? Yep. Yeah, that would also help us know who actually is going to live. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. <clears throat> All right, anything else for highway? Not that I have. Okay. Um, let's move on to gravel pit update. So as folks who've been following along know, um, we had a special town meeting on July 26th, and the article that was for consideration at that meeting was um, tabled by the voters, and um, we have been collecting information pursuant to that motion to table. There were three items that were asked to, we were asked to collect more information on. One was the quality of the material at the parcel that's being considered. The second is the volume of material. Um, and then the, well, there were four items, I think, maybe. Uh, the third was the consideration of the railroad, which has a right of way over the parcel and the implications of needing to potentially improve that crossing over the railroad and also just the general use of the, uh, of the crossing. And then the fourth was the question of the um, uh, the structural integrity of the bridge over the Dog River. Um, so we have collected um, uh, materials testing data from a consultant um, that we talked about at the last meeting. And so we reviewed that report at the last meeting um, and had some discussion about the results of that report then. So, but I welcome anyone else to <coughs> chime in with any other. I know that we didn't have a lot of time before the last meeting to look at that, so if folks had other um, insights that they wanted to share after having more time to review that. Anything? Materials testing? Yeah. Um, the second item was volume. We also talked about that, that at the last meeting. The board testing isn't really feasible to determine volume determination. So um, we're at this point, I think, you know, for all intents and purposes, relying on the volume determination that was made by the surveyor, um, which was 80 to 100,000 yards. And the third question related to the railroad has been a very developing um, and complicated scenario, but um, as of like two hours ago, the update that I can provide is that um, 
as folks know, we hired a commercial real estate attorney um, to answer some of these complicated questions for us. Um, he was finally able to determine that a agreement that needs to be in place between the landowner and the railroad, which is called a grade agreement, grade crossing, grade crossing agreement between the landowner and the railroad, um, does not exist. Um, and he advised that it should exist. Um, so that's news, I guess. Um, the process for entering in, you know, for beginning um, the negotiation of that agreement requires an application fee that the, the landowner has to pay. Um, and then it, the agreement is negotiated with the railroad based on the nature of the property and the use of the crossing and the location of the crossing. Um, so that is, is not in place. Um, I'll speak for myself and say that I think when agree, such an agreement should be in place um, to purchase, for us to feel comfortable purchasing the property. Um, so I think that is a step that would need to be taken by the current owners of the parcel um, before we would feel comfortable purchasing a property for $400,000 that, you know, has an easement um, used by the railroad that they could come knocking on our door one day and, you know, make us have to jump through some hoops. So um, that's a pretty new development as of today. Um, we haven't had any communication with the seller um, about this since we just learned this this afternoon. Um, and then the, the fourth item, which is the bridge over the Dog River, which we've talked about, I believe we've all agreed that it's um, uh, it's in condition to support the, the, the use of the parcel as a pit at this time. Um, and because we would, the, the owner of the parcel above the potential pit would retain a right of way that we would, you know, share maintenance um, of the bridge with the easement holder, or that would be our intention. So those are the four questions. That's where we are in terms of the information that we've collected. So just to review, in, again, speaking for myself, um, I feel that we have addressed the questions that have been asked. Um, certainly can. the railroad, uh, the answers that we received on the, the questions related to the railroad lead to some additional steps that would need to be taken, um, in my view, for the town to feel comfortable um, buying this property. Yes, Paul. Um, two of the four are, are still sort of hanging out there because you don't yet have an agreement with Tucker for joint maintenance of the bridge, I guess. That's correct. Okay. And nor is there a resolution to the crossing for the railroad. That's correct. The warning that, that, that for, for the meeting tomorrow, uh, uh, does not include any contingencies and is it is it appropriate or is it possible at the meeting for someone to offer uh, an, uh, an amendment uh, to the article as warned yep. uh, putting in uh, language having to do with those two contingencies yes yes and when Dan and I spoke with our attorney earlier today he advised that that would be prudent should the voters be interested in moving forward, that it would be prudent to add a contingency of that nature. Okay, so even right at the beginning of the meeting, we could we could make a motion for Correct. Yep. Yeah. That would be that would be something I would be in favor of putting on the table for sure. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So. Uh, I'll just also acknowledge since this happened since the last meeting and I, I've <coughs> talked with members of the board about this, but um, folks might have seen the write up in the Herald this week. Um, I made it really clear and I, I think Tim said as much in the article that he wrote that that was information that I submitted to the paper on behalf of, of myself. Dan contributed information to it as well um, based on the cost effective analysis. Um, but I you know, I just want to state clear and, and publicly that I did not intend, and I tried to make very clear that that was not a, a statement of the, that the select board supported um, uh, as the legislative body of the town. 
um, but I just felt that it was really important to get all information that we had collected to date to the voters, um, understanding that there wasn't going to be another edition of the Herald before the meeting tomorrow night. Um, so it was a little bit of a rush, so I apologize for not getting that in front of folks sooner, but um, that's what occurred. So you can talk to me later if you have any <laughs> significant concerns about that. Thank you for doing it. <clears throat> um, are there any questions or comments about any of the new information or any of the information that was in the Herald? Yeah, I suppose. Number one and number two, was that delivered sand or where was that sand? So Chris, you're referring the, to the, 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 compare, the cost comparison. Yes. So there was the, so we assessed a cost per yard and then a lifetime cost of um, the pit as compared to two quotes that Dan had received Correct. for, um, uh, I believe the quote was for not, not delivered. And Neither, no quotes were, nobody delivers. We have to either pick up or hire a contractor to bring it. So the numbers in the paper were delivered on all accounts. It would be from the Tucker pit to here, from Twin State and Lebanon to here, or from Northeast and Barrie to here. I also got a price for Wallingford Crush Stone, which has a plant in Wallingford and Florence, and I have those numbers too, also delivered. They charge by the ton money. and not the yard, but you can equate them. You can turn tonnage into yard. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so your your price from Northeast and Barry, mm -hmm. what was the material that you were asking for? It Is was there just a ledge pit up there? It was the crush stone that they the said. The three quarter inch crush yeah. minus. Because I called them today and I got a delivered price from them of, well, they're they're going to send me an email and I'll send it over, but it's between fourteen fifty and fifteen dollars a yard. As delivered. Delivered to the town store. <coughs> of what? A crush. Three quarter inch plant mix is what they call it. That's not the price I was given. Well, I talked with the lady first, and then she passed me on to a salesman named Jeff who said that he had done business with a guy from Braintree named Jeff before. <laughs> and, uh, but so he was the one who gave me final pricing because when she heard I was asking a, for a municipality and for a large quantity, both of those made a difference in price. Okay, sure. I'd like to see the email, but yeah. Yep. And I will, I'll send those, and I also have one coming from uh, Menage aggregate company and they have a pit in Eden, Vermont and their price came in at $18.60 I think a yard delivered to the town. And that's a, they, they call it a road sand so it sounds like it's more of a screened three quarter inch product. Okay. Not a crushed. Just more numbers to add to it. Sounds good. Um, so I guess that leads to probably the most relevant question is, you know, how do we present this information tomorrow, um, you know, to amend, uh, the, the information or to, to add to the information that we've provided so far. Um, if the email <coughs> comes through, I can circulate it easy enough and, and you know, I don't know if we just amend it at the meeting and say, you know, this is new information that we're we come up with. Not much else you can do. No, right. Yeah. It's not right. Okay. Um, so, I guess in terms of moving forward with the meeting tomorrow, um, so we will have some new information to share. Um, if you're able to to get those additional estimates. And I think because it's a delivered cost, um, I'm trying to think how we would complete, like how we would uh, make it comparable. All these are, the costs in here are all delivered costs. So you just multiply it just times 100,000. Just by 100,000. <coughs> um, you had also adjusted for inflation. Yeah, and for rate increases. So we would need to do the same. Kind of and I asked him about that, and they said in the, you know, um, he 
said that in the past 12 years, they've seen increases in what they're doing anywhere from 2 to 8%, never more than 8%, and in the last three years, it's been pretty consistent, like 3 to 4%. And I did 3% for everybody, so that's so what I did. Pretty typical. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I guess, yeah, as soon as you have access to those, you can share them so that we can try to put things on paper in a way that's digestible for folks to see. Um, and in terms of the, the questions related to the railroad, um, as we talked about and in accordance with Paul's suggestion, I think that that's something we should put on the table um, pretty quickly given that you know very new development and the fact that it, it is a potential barrier. It's also, um, I think that we, we have to consider the fact that the the seller might not be interested in negotiating with us if that's something that we're going to require of them. Um, and that could be a real limiting factor to moving forward. So, um, Anything else? I mean, of course, as happened at the last meeting, anything can happen. Thank you, Chris. Um, so <laughs> uh, we can... Um, you know, deal with uh, and consider motions as they come. Um, and uh, we have a very capable moderator who can help us navigate Robert's rules and all of that. Um, and we can see what transpires. So, yes. Feel free to ask for questions. Of course. Were there any silver linings that came out of that meeting? Did anybody come forward and volunteer other sources? Uh, potential pits, or um, now the town knows there's a new problem, and no one came forward with any suggestions or solutions. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. It's, it's. I'll just be really honest and say that's a complicated issue because obviously there was mention of um, a parcel that that Keegan owns. Keegan is on the board, and I would welcome you to speak as a member of the public if you want to answer the question. But of course. Um, Sorry yeah. to put you on the spot. No, but. that's fine. I I have offered my potential quarry site to the town, and um, and also I've reached out to another person who has potentially gravel on their property, and they're open to a conversation as well with the town. Okay, so glimmer of potential, yeah. and then the second um, question was. Was there any um, rumblings from the seller over the delay or um, negotiating or, you know, if they also were reading the paper, perhaps they understand it's not as done deal and we're not going to, yeah. you know, walk away with an negotiated price on a I think they're question. well aware of the situation. Okay. So they're not coming back to you and the price is not plummeting. They're not. They're not concerned about selling it because they have other towns already lined up. If Braintree doesn't buy it. Well, it's been a month or something. Whatever. It's yeah. not gone yet. Yeah. So, okay. Um, I, I think so. The the what, when this property was presented to us in the form of a formal term sheet, which is the document that the seller provided to us with their asking price and all of the terms that accompanied that price. Um, there was an expiration to that offer. Um, they've been patient with our process and we stated from the outset that we're a municipality and so um, you know we have to ask the voters and that takes time and um, I think they have been somewhat patient with that and understanding that that's the procedure that we need to follow. Um, I, I had a just one-on-one -on -one conversation with the seller where they've indicated that October is their walk away time. Um, so I've been keeping that in the back of my head when trying to, you know, move expeditiously to get information collected. Um, so that's, I think that's all we really know at this point. But I think it's important to understand that this is the option that we're evaluating because it's the one that was 
put before us. And so all the assessments that we've made and the data that we've collected and analyzed has been to answer the question of, is this a cost-effective purchase for the town of Braintree? Um, we've compared it to sand that we would buy in because we haven't received a formal offer for any other parcel while we have talked about other options. They haven't come to fruition in the way that this has. So I think that's just important to understand that that's what is informing you know, how we've moved forward. Yes, Chris. So when was this brought forward? When was Ron referred to initially? It was a while ago. Over a year yeah. and a half ago. Now. It was like before COVID, I feel like. Mm, Maybe during COVID? No, it was after COVID. But. Yeah. <coughs> It was a while ago because it took a long time to get the survey. That's done. correct. It looked because there was something that happened. Because COVID was kind of delaying the survey happening. Yeah. So yeah. And hadn't hadn't Rocky Farm prior to that been mentioned? Um, Rocky Farm was evaluated as a potential site. Um, when was that? 2016. 2016. Yeah, in 2016 when the select board was considering mm -hmm. parcels to purchase. So. Why haven't we put equally equally as much effort into checking that out as we have into checking that out? So as I mentioned, this was there was a proposal in the form of a term sheet and an offer brought to us, and we haven't had. Sorry, it's really awkward with no, no, sitting right it's, here, it's but fine. like this hasn't. You know, we haven't been yeah. given that same kind of um, proposal. Okay, any other we did. We did. We did do a, a a test on that material there, so we have put some money into that already. Over and the there, Rocky There is a report that was drawn drawn okay. up back in 2016. Okay, so then then the next grand question is: You're talking sand in Northfield. Out at Rocky Farm, you could have riprap, stone ditching material, material for your roads, and crush it to make sand, all in one spot. <clears throat> so if you need riprap or anything, stone ditching material, I don't believe you'll find it big enough up there. Maybe you will, I don't know. However, we you know out there, you got some very bony. Yeah. So, I, I, Chris, I absolutely welcome and invite you to make those comments in the context of the meeting tomorrow, um, right. if you think it's relevant to mention. Um, you know, the, the question before the voters is related to a specific parcel. Um, yeah, north, north. And, yeah, and I, I bet, you know, okay. if you have relevant information. And then some of that comes down, I haven't, I haven't done a, proposal for the town. I am currently working on one. I'm slow. Yeah, but equally, equally, 2016, did you say? Yes. Yes. And nobody went out and said, hey, Pete, what do you got here? They did Because know. Jeff did not want anything to do with it. That's why the select board didn't do anything with it. He sat right over there and says, it's too far to go. I ain't doing it. We're not going to do it. It's going to cost a hundred thousand dollars. Put in a road so we can haul out of there, and that's what we went through, Chris. Excuse me, but you folks oversee him. We were not. I was not sitting at the table at that time. It, you can tell him to go. It, then we voted on it as a board, and it was voted against because he made that comment. There was, I just also want to say that I, I believe, again, I was not on the board when that decision was made, but it was also my understanding from talking to other folks, including Lauren, that were on the board at the time, that um, there was information that came to light about access to other material that was going to kind of get us through for another five to ten years, which has panned out, which has been the case. Yeah, okay. And so we decided that it wasn't an imminent need. Jones, Jones, yeah. Yes. Correct. The record is really, really clear. Yes. I don't, don't want to interrupt or jump on anybody, but it's out there, the minutes, it explains what happened, what the proposed costs were. I went back and I read it all. And, you know, 
I'm sorry, Keith, and frankly, it didn't look like it was a super viable opportunity at the time. And it might be because there was this Jones pit or this other thing. Like, there's a lot of different ways to get gravel out there. And it seems like the one we're talking about for tomorrow, it's a very specific proposal, and we're going to look at that. But it might be useful for the people in the town who haven't gone back and read all this stuff just to have a printout of the minutes from the meetings associated with that, you know, so that the testimony from before can be there. Because it's not like you're comparing apples and apples, right? It's a it's an unknown potential right. versus a million other unknown potentials. Right, and there's a there's purchasing land is complicated, right? There's always different elements associated with each parcel that you need to consider, and it, like you said, it's really challenging to compare one against the other. Um, and that's why we're doing our best to take a look at this specific parcel that has been presented to us and compare it to other known quantities in the form of a purchased product that we could buy off the shelf, so to speak. Um, and yeah, so, and, and I applaud you for digging into the record that far. Like you get the <laughs> Citizen of the Year Award for yeah. that. Um, but like, of course, not everyone does that. And I'll just be quite frank that, um, I, you know, I don't have the time either. Um, I get so. <laughs> To be able to yeah. use my new EC fiber to do so. All right. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think you know we uh, we're hard pressed to get the material that we have gotten in front of the voters to date. That's been you know I, I've I've taken vacation time you know to put that information together. Thank so you. you know we're all working really hard to to do what we can to get good information out there, and you know we have even like like. This is a very fluid situation. You know, we have more information from Keegan. We got the update from the railroad just a few hours ago, you know. So we're doing our best. <laughs> no, no, it's a great job. Thank you. Yes. <clears throat> well, relative to Keegan's, wasn't there a discussion at that last meeting that it was in conservation district? Yes, it is. that's correct. So now you're accepting a plan that keeps that in conservation district. That's Shouldn't correct. something be done? Before this plan is adopted, if you ever wanted to consider that, well, we can. Sorry. Well, in the town plan, and I believe it was cited in the report in 2016 that it is up to a town's vote to take that out of conservation if they see it economically viable for the town. So they can go along with the gravel pit and not worry about this town kind of plan. I mean, if that was an option. There would have to be an amendment to the to town the plan, plan and the zoning that. bylaws if that so were to occur. Before that would, could occur, before you could use the property. So you'd want to do it especially before zoning <laughs> Well, But again, no, those can be changed by the town's vote, so right. it could be a warned meeting specific to the, to the question. So there was no change at all in the map of the, <clears throat> the different districts in town? There was. But not, but, not, but not affecting, but not, not affecting this property. Yeah. Okay, right. so it doesn't affect me. No. 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 Well, it did the last time. That's why. Not this time. Very curious. You're safe. curious. <laughs> Chris. Okay, so just sitting here, we're scared to spend a hundred grand to go that way, but we're okay to go four hundred grand and go north to Northfield. That's the way I'm looking at it, but let's move on. Sorry, what's one? Most of this board wasn't here. Yeah, okay. When, so let's when, think about it. That's all I'm saying. You know? Yeah. Well, I think a better representation between those two, even though we can't compare the gravel pit to the quarry, in my opinion, it's two totally different animals. But as the 100,000 goes to it, that was, you know, an Just estimate into that. the road at one time. Could be comparable to what you're going to spend to the railroad crossing, you know. So it's more of an access comparison than it is to, to the four hundred thousand that we're paying for, or yeah, potentially right. paying for the ground. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
Lou, go ahead. Um, you had your hand a split second up before I looped it. <laughs> I just, go ahead. Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. So I want to make sure I understand something. If the voters approve this tomorrow, it's not like it's a done deal, you're going to go no. buy the place. Absolutely no. not. All it does is authorize you. It yes. doesn't preclude Egan from making a proposal That's or some other proposal that drops out of the sky. It gives you the ability to move forward if those things don't happen or to weigh that against it. That is 100% correct. 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 But sometimes I feel but, like people think that you got the authorization for your yeah. checkbooks in your hand. No, right. this, is, I, a, this I, is an authorization yeah. to negotiate a purchase and sale contract. It is not an, an authorization to write a check immediately. Right. It's we, for us to enter a contract to eventually. But we do need that authorization legally because right. of the financing term of the but loan. But I'll also note that the warning, the article in the warning actually did change to speak to the point that you're making, Luke. Um, previously, it just said, do the voters you know, authorize, authorize the, the town purchase. to purchase? Mm -hmm. And we changed it to say, do the voters authorize the town to negotiate? The purchase and I'm hoping that <laughs> that nuance makes it a little more and clear. just like any other house contract it would yeah. come with contingencies like the railroad right. or you know whatever else we right decided to put in so right away so what happens tomorrow if you're authorized without these contingencies those would be part of a purchase and sale that's correct we could eat right even if the contingency that Paul mentioned doesn't end up in if the article is vote is is voted at yes, if we vote yes on the article, um, we could still as a select board say, well, in the best interest of the town, you know, we're going to put these contingencies in there because we feel like that's in the best interest of the town. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Lou. Similar point. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate <laughs> that. <laughs> yes. Okay, um, so I guess a, a question I'd like to ask is, um, you know, it, it's been mentioned to me a couple times that it might be helpful for the voters um, for the select board to come to this meeting tomorrow with um, some sort of recommendation, if we have one, either for or against the, the question that's being asked. And so I wanted to open it up to the board to ask, is that something that we would like to do? Do we want to make a recommendation to the voters and say, you know, based on our evaluation of the information that we've collected to date um, and our, you know, kind of historical knowledge, this is what we recommend, or this is how we recommend you vote. Is that something that folks are interested in? It's fine with me. Yeah, it's fine. I'm just, it seems to me the fact that we're taking it to the voters kind of implies that there's... Sure. But I think sometimes it's helpful for, you know, as we kind of alluded to, not everybody has the opportunity to dig into all the information. I feel like all of us have spent a lot of time digging into the information, so folks might be interested in, based on our judgment as the people who are sitting here looking at all the information that have been voted in to make these decisions, do we have a recommendation? The recommendation to adopt the article. To adopt the article. Okay. So what's, like, yes, we want to vote to recommend or not recommend? I guess the question is. Somebody's Recommend, I mean, okay. with the continuance of the railroad. Okay. You know, that's the, that's the big thing. We've got to figure out. I'll just say, though, that some people will probably say that you don't need a purchase and sale to negotiate that deal. At this point, it's on Tucker's to go for that permit. We don't need to say, well, we're signing a deal for you. No, we need to say, you go get that permit, and when you have it in hand, then we'll negotiate the deal. You can, you can enter into the contract with that as a contingency so that if it doesn't happen, the contract voids. I understand And, and you're that. in the same position at the end of that, whether you did it before or after, the end result is the same. Right, but it's the glass half full or half empty still because it can work both ways. 
unless so the seller, could, excuse me, unless, but, unless the seller decides he doesn't want to wait. Any which longer. is what will happen yeah. in three weeks. Yeah. So the purchase and sale agreement is locked under, and that's correct. To, to selling it to you once that contingency is satisfied. That's correct. That's right. He they have well, he can't walk away at that point. That's correct. Right. That's important. Right, but there's also benefit to Tucker selling it to Brantry versus benefit to Tucker selling it to the other town. So it benefits him to sell it to Brantry. You would think he would. How does it benefit? So he would, it benefit? So he he would sell it to Brantry signing a permit because he also crushes all of Brantry's gravel, and so he's going to be crushing that gravel. We've already talked about that, and in fact, he's asked for some sort of contingency in there that says that he will be processing that gravel. Yep, there's no, there's nothing that precludes him from crushing for whoever he sells it to. No, but it's a less likely scenario when you look at where it might go and who's over on that side of the mountain that already does all of that work for that town. Jesse, and if, at the same time, if we go back to Tucker's and we say, you know what, why don't you just hurry up and get the whole railroad thing, and then we'll, you know, go back to the town That's again. We've got to warn another meeting. We've got to have, and it's a 30-day thing. Yes. And so we just keep dragging it out and dragging it out. And so it just, it seems like if you've got all your bases covered, why not just do it tomorrow? And then, and then you're done one way or the other. Either they're going to have to get the railroad or they're not going to get the railroad. <clears throat> No. And if they don't, we walk away. So. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, and a contingency in the, in the purchase and sale contract could be you need to file the application with the railroad or whoever that is by date certain. That's correct. Mm -hmm. right? right? And so, you know, we can move them along rather than, as Keegan was suggesting, you know, wait for them to do it. Well, I'm just, it's, it's the other side of the argument is all I'm showing, I guess. I'm not recommending. I'm just trying to show the other side of the argument that may come up at the meeting. Jesse, since you're here, sorry, I'm putting everyone on the spot tonight. Um, can I ask, as our town treasurer, like, based on your understanding of, you know, the, the terms of the purchase um, and all the different information that we've been weighing, do you have a recommendation as treasurer? Like, if this would be something that would be a good decision or not for the town fiscally? Um, and you can say I don't want to answer that question, <laughs> but no, if you want, I, I will to the okay. best of my ability currently. Okay. So, um, no, uh, running all the numbers and um, you know one way or another, et cetera. Um, it definitely seems like something that is a um, a viable source um, without much impact to the tax rate in the town, if any, <coughs> currently. So, you know, it just, it just, it seems like it should just, something that we should go forward with because we keep dragging our feet and dragging our feet and before you know it, we're not gonna have any answers and in, so. In terms of the, the yeah. capital budget, and the contributions that we make to the gravel pit fund right now, like there would be enough um, between those contributions and the flexibility in the capital plan to cover the cost of the principal and the interest for the financing period, and we yeah, wouldn't without, have to allocate without more. a problem with some with some left over, and we could um, even um, you know at. Once the decision was made and so on, it, if we the town does go forward with it, it's I would revisit um, how much is going into the gravel pit and how much is going into the capital fund. Um, I had only made those uh, changes, suggested those changes here a few years back and put them into place so that right. we could get that capital budget up and running and it is up and running. Okay. So. Thank you. That's helpful. Yeah. <clears throat> a motion and a vote. Yes. We, if someone wants to make a motion. I'm not sure I'm <clears throat> trying to do it. Okay. You can fix it. 
Um, I move that the select board recommends adoption of this proposed um, expenditure. Article. Uh, no, article. Uh, article. The article. 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 Thank you. With the contingency amendment or with, with the railroad yeah. contingency. Okay. I'll second. Any other discussion? I mean, I guess I'll just say what appeals to me about this is that you can make this purchase without an increasing tax rates for the foreseeable future and fix your sand prices where you're not at the mercy of the market and who, who might run out and what prices might go up. The price you buy it at now is the forever price, only changing based on town taxes, but that's a minimal against the whole. So having it locked now for the next 20 years seems appealing to me, instead of seeing what the next guy is going to charge us. I would just like to say something on that comment that it will still go up for us as the cost of raw material doesn't change, but the cost of the process changes every year. Right. So it's still going to go up. It's going to go up based on crushing and and fuel and town taxes, and those are the major factors. Right. But the price that's in the spreadsheets, the, the numbers that I've worked up, accounts for a 50 cent per year crushing price increase. So it accounts for the crushing price increase in the same way that the price increases for retail have gone up also. So. Right, so it's it's the same, I guess, is what I'm I'm just getting at. So even at you know your your price delivered from Pike Industries, they're looking at the same three to four percent every year. So it's it's not changing drastically the difference between the two of them. It's the same. I guess I just like to say buy local. There you go. That's what everybody's been preaching. This for me. Buy local. It's my supper. Turn on the TV. Any other discussion before we vote? <clears throat> okay. Um, all those in favor of Charlie's motion? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Okay. Excuse and me. I, I just, sorry, Lou, one second. Um, the, in the legislature, you get to explain your vote after you make it, so I'd like to do that. <laughs> um, I just want to say that I, I, I'm voting yay because I, I think, based on all the recommendation that we've considered to date, it's a, it's a prudent recommendation to make with the contingency in place um, and understanding that the select board is going to retain the ability to, you know, negotiate this process. And I just want to say that as a select board member, my intention is to, um, participate in those negotiations with the best interests of the town in mind and for this to be a good deal for the, for the taxpayers. Um, and that's really my only intention. So I just wanted to say that. Anybody else want to explain their book <laughs> since I took the liberty? I feel there's more than 20 years worth of sand up there. And that's all this figure has been on is 20 years. And that is just bringing it down to the level of the railroad. And below the railroad bed, there's more. That's bringing it down to the level of where they started digging the fourth hole. Right. And as you drive around to the property. And that, and that report said they went 10, 10 feet deep? Yeah. And then run out. Yeah. Can, can we ask someone to explain their vote? Keegan, did you vote nay? Mm -hmm. I did. Mm -hmm. Or did yeah. you abstain? I'm going to put you on the spot. But. No, I didn't abstain. I <laughs> voted nay. And I guess I voted nay because I like to give, I, I don't want to recommend it to anybody. I'd rather them take the information and make their own. Thank you. Lou, you were going to say something. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> and I'll just say, like, I'm not against Tucker, and I'm not against Tucker's pit down there. That's good material down there. <clears throat> I recognize that the day I set foot in that pit down there. It just doesn't work out number wise to be any greater than anything else 
and there's other opportunities here in our own town, and I don't just speak to my opportunity. So. All right. Anything else related to the gravel pit before we meet again tomorrow evening? Okay. Um, so the meeting starts at 6 o'clock. Um, and I'll be there a little bit early to set up if anybody wants to help set up. <coughs> but other than that, I think we'll have everything that we need to move forward. Um, all right, we'll let you Oh, no problem. Good night. Good night. Thanks, everyone, for coming. Appreciate the participation. Megan, I'll set up. Okay, thanks, Charlie. Yeah, we're talking about another one. That's actually a good point. This week, over the over the weekend, I drove up last week, and they have worked on it. Okay. Um, so they're they're trying, and I think I'm going. To, they were supposedly supposed to be working on it, having it done by the end of September. So I wanna, because that was my the 30 day notice. Very good. Thank you. Um. Okay. Well, keep us posted. Thank you for taking a look up there. Um, so EC Fiber, are we like hot to trot with EC Fiber here? I was going to ask you, how's your computer working? Because it's pretty darn good. It's been good <laughs> up since. Yeah? Good? Everybody's happy? All right. Because I just seem to be uh, really liking it over yeah. there. Yeah. No, usually I get a, a little notice with the video conference that um, your connection is too slow to support video or whatever. I have not seen that. Thank you. It's great news. Um, okay, moving on to new business. Um, so we had our town plan hearing um, and received some comments. Um, any discussion before we consider the question of adoption of the town plan? All right, um, then I'll make a motion that we adopt the Braintree town plan as revised. I'll second. Mm -hmm. oh, everybody wants to any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I'm sorry, how many of you seconded? Everybody. Which just, one? Everybody. Just, pick, just, pick one. Just, just pick one. Yeah. <laughs> well, on, on behalf of the thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank oh, my you. goodness. Yeah. You guys did all the hard work. It's very important that we move forward, uh, it, it's, especially if we want to keep any steam behind the, the, the drafting of the zoning. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I say that not only because of funding issues, but I also say that because of the age of some people, including Mark, <laughs> uh, on the Planning Commission, and it is very important that there be some continuity moving from the plan to the zoning ordinance and then to the ultimate administration to the BRB. Yeah. Uh, and so time works against us if, if, we, if we do not keep momentum yeah, feels like, and the further you step away from it over time, the less fresh it becomes. When it's yeah. right in your head at the moment, it makes it easier to step straight into the zone for me at least. So thank you. Thank you. Um, did, and, we actually, did you actually? Oh vote? no, uh, uh, we haven't voted. We haven't voted. voted. Um, okay. All those in favor? Uh, Aye. 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 Okay. Well, I thought we did. I thought we did. Sure. Okay. Thought did. Yeah. All right. We did well, twice. we did it again. Yeah. Everybody um, seconded, yeah. and everybody voted twice. We really want to chat. We really want to. Um, so the, just in relation to the adoption of the town plan, we also need to submit a determination of energy compliance, um, which is a resolution that I have here that's pretty straightforward, but it basically just indicates that we um, are submitting our municipal plan to our regional planning com commission, which is Two Rivers, to determine whether or not we're in compliance um, with the energy components of the plan um, pursuant to Title 24, and then similarly for the municipal plan itself and the requirements in Title 24. Um, so we'll submit that to Two Rivers if we vote to adopt that resolution. So I'll make a motion that we adopt that resolution. No second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, NRCS, Janice. Uh, actually, um, can we go back? Yeah. <coughs> without Sam? Mm -hmm. uh, certificate of municipal plan um, after it's been adopted Needs, I need to be doing some work and I'm going to need verification, on, I think, on some 
times and dates that okay. things were done. I think I have them all, but I would like to confer with you. So okay. I'm gonna sure. see, send this to you. Sounds PDF great. Okay. okay, and if it's anything to do with the planning commission's process that they held, copy Jackson or no, Nathan. They, yeah, he's already filled out his section. Is this the reporting form? Uh, yeah, certificate of municipal planning. Right, yes. that Jesse will sign. So, yes. Yeah. So, okay, thank you. I just want to confirm to make sure that yeah. we have the same dates. That sounds great. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I was made aware of that form's existence earlier today and <laughs> was wondering what, the, <laughs> what we needed to do. So, um, all right. So, Janice, do you have the USDA NRCS sponsorship letter listed? Is there anything that you want to mention about that? Okay, well, so I know I have to do my stuff. You can take a minute. I think the rest of the items are all ones that we'll rely on you for. So yes. Feel free to. Well, I think this was actually a more of a notification okay. item to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, is it something the town wants to do? Do you want to do the letter? Um, they give you a sample letter. Yes, you don't need it. Okay. I don't need it too. Um, you got two so, does the town, does the select board want to uh, put this letter out uh, to the USDA NRCS and they're recommending it to us? That way, any um, citizen, landowner, or whatever in the town or county um, can use this letter to, uh, to assist them with getting funds that FEMA might not cover. Okay. And, and items like that is what it is. Okay. So. Um, yes, why not? If someone can avail themselves of this program, we should do it. Okay. So then okay. I will do up the letter, have you um, sign it. Okay. Um, or I can put your, I can put your electronic signature, I think will work. That's fine. And then once I send it in, I can let, I will post it <clears throat> on all the sites to let the citizens know that it's there. If they need this, this is another funding source for them. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, <coughs> the, insurance. Oh, sorry. Anything yeah, else that's on what that? I was going to say. Okay. The next one's mine too. Yep. Yeah. The this was just also a notification of how much our Blue Cross Blue Shield is going probably going to be raised. Yep. How much the um, Green Mountain Care Board allowed. Hmm. Um, Blue Cross Blue Shield to raise their rates for 2024. Yep. They didn't get as much as they wanted, but but they got a lot. Yeah, they, they did. certainly they got did. a lot. So that was just I also just wanted to put that in the back of your head so when it comes time for budgeting. Yep. That it's going to be something that we're going to have to take a look at. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, and then we have a, a rental request. Yes, this is the Tri Town Services. Is that what, correct, Charlie? It's something that you're on with Amy. Oh, the Ramen Network. <coughs> no, it's not the Ramen Network. <coughs> Tri Town, I'm not on. Oh, okay. Well, uh, well, I put Tri Town Services, but she said you're you attended or maybe something. They had one in Randolph. And they're they're going to do one in Braintree, and they're going to do one in. Brookfield, and it's an informational meeting um, for all the citizens of each town. About? Well, that's what I'm asking you, because I kind of didn't quite understand what Amy you're, was. You, you started hooking up with one that was coming out of Bethel. That's what, that's the Oh, one. that's the Energy Committee. That's why I asked. Her. No, not the Energy not Committee. Energy. No. Um, uh, maybe this is the... Um, like the panel that has been being organized oh, periodically. Oh, yes, okay, okay. I think she does. Official, okay. Municipal officials. Remember at the Chandler, they had, they had like, if you're new to the area, come and oh, yeah, learn yeah, about it. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's what it is. Okay. Uh, okay. Sorry. Huh. Once that's again, okay. conversation I've been having. Um, yeah. Well, they, she's requesting the town hall on um, October 15th. Uh huh. She didn't, um, she said that they could pay for it. But because it's for the citizens, it's a meeting for the citizens. Yeah, it's a public benefit. Uh, yeah. Can we waive the rental fee? Um, I don't have an issue with that mm -hmm. if it's a public meeting. It's information for the community. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Fine. Uh, and then the last one is the fiscal year 24 grants and aid grant agreement approval and signature should be sitting in front of you. Yes. We discussed that needs to be signed so that I can send it back to the state. Okay. Um, did we already agree to enter into the agreement or should we should I make a motion to do that? Oh, okay. Do you guys need a copy of the agreement? I didn't I don't think I included the whole agreement, did I? Um it's the standard state grant agreement that we've seen before. Yeah, yeah so it's just if everybody is familiar with that. There's, yeah. Okay. I don't think there's anything different about it except to just list us as the grantee. Um, all right, I'll make a motion that we sign the um, grant agreement for the fiscal year 24 grants and aid. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. All right. Pam, yes, Jess, go ahead. I do have a quick question mm -hmm. on the, sorry I missed it. That's okay. The, yep. the FEMA. Mm -hmm. um, sure. Covering the FEMA payment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. So, you know, good night. Uh, yeah. Call. Yeah. Like perfect. Class four roads Have a good night, young are man. supposed good to be maintained by the town, so they're at least passable. That's mm -hmm. right. So, any class four road that was damaged beyond being passable should be covered by FEMA, correct? Mm -hmm. So we should definitely take a look at those class four roads because Bober is not passable. No, Bober is nasty. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard that from several people. That I went over on a bike and it is real, real, real As bad. a result of the event? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah the yes. trenches, I mean, some of the trenches are like three feet deep. Like you can swallow more. yourself. In right. We, it's did, we had to turn around rough, yesterday. It's, like, ever, it's not. It's real bad. Yeah. So. Okay. I went over it about two weeks after that and it was virtually impassable on a bike. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we should certainly try. It it's up about it's less than a mile. It's like seven tenths of a mile up. There's a crevice that you can't get through. Yeah, yeah. I where I that, wouldn't even ride a horse up it. It's so bad. Wow. Is okay. that where that stream? Yeah, that stream comes, comes through, and there used to be a culvert there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, Stuck in the um, van. can can you let Dylan know to? Um, we just need to get up there and take a lot of pictures, um, and... I didn't even think of it. I should have. It's okay. It's I, okay. I mean, if the damage is still there... Oh, it's, it's damage, not going anywhere. Yeah. The damage is there. We haven't dealt with it. You know, yeah. it's something that we didn't know about basically <clears throat> until now, so yeah. it's late reaction, but it's Yeah, still and the only other people, I guess, that might do something about it would be the um, FASA, mm. because that's their trail coming down through there, and I actually... Um, had a conversation with Paul Gerties the other day. I don't know if he's on that or if he's just friends with all he these was, guys. But they've been talking about working on some of that because also across the road from Bober where you go out through the horse pastures and go down, I guess there's a really bad mess down there that they're having That's to correct. figure out what to do with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So they would be the only other ones that might be that might have that on their radar, like we need to do something about this. Yeah. Well, and if we somebody doesn't, I mean, back. snowmobiles won't be going through there. Right. That, yeah. yeah. I mean, you're going to need lots of feet of snow to get yeah. snowmobiles through there. Yes. So. Um, okay. Yeah. So we just need to um, take pictures uh, and have the, like, location services turned on or whatever so it says exactly where it is. And then we can go for that, you know, why not? Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't think FEMA has any kind of road class restriction. That I'm I don't think they do. I think, if it's, I think if it's a right of way. Um, yeah. I mean, you know, like Dylan's been up on our road fixing yeah. things. I don't know if that qualifies. <laughs> yeah. right. If it's a public, I mean, yeah. I mean, was yeah. Clancy part of the storm or did that happen in the second storm? Oh, uh, what about Blanchard Road, too? Because I was just over there the other day. It looks like the town's had a couple of cones out. There's a hole beside the road that's probably five feet deep, right where you yeah. can't think of the people's name there, but Kinsley does their hay and then her hay's the field. Yeah, I don't know. I can't. And 
I don't know if there are cones or if maybe the neighborhood over there put some cones no, out. No, it but would be ours. Nobody else can put them out. Yeah. I guess. So there's a hole there that's. Yeah. Maybe we should just let Dylan know. Maybe he didn't know that class four roads were on the table and that if there was anything Probably. then he saw. Nobody, yeah. yeah. And nobody's been up there really. Unless somebody comes. No. He's not going up over, so we're not seeing right. that unless somebody right. comes to us. We closed right. it because we knew it was bad. Yeah, I can't believe Lou didn't say anything. Well, it's above him. It's, it's above, above him. Ours. He would never go that far. So he's yeah. probably pretty happy about it. Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> no, I know. If you were here, you'd be like, stop. <laughs> There's nobody going through there. I know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, anything else? No. Okay. Uh, payment orders. How's it going, Charlie? Well, I'm almost there. Um, got about five more to do. Well, I'm just finishing those because he has actually signed the last. The, the corrected warrant. The corrected warrant that are. Um, right. yeah. And Janice, do these have to be signed separately? I did the first one, so I'm on the second one. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. the Friday budget, what they want to look like. Okay. Um, um, yeah. Well, well, we may have to go back to the buddy system if we're correcting. No offense, Lauren. <laughs> what? <laughs> so this is, this is the corrected warrant. I did, I did put first. in an extra zero. I'm on a check number. Okay. And um, I didn't catch it either at the end. Come on, that man. Was like, you. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll make a motion that we uh, reapprove the warrant from the uh, September 1st select board meeting. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, well, thank you. I'm going to sign that. Oh, we <coughs> need to sign the resolution, too. Mm -hmm. Um, I wanted to ask while we're signing things, is there anything else, um, any other interest in the highway crew position? Nope. Janice, can you do another round of Put in the paper here and tell them anything we can do. Okay. Only put it on the next one. Yeah, yeah, I know. We're yeah. really we getting probably, down. Put it on the next one. No, we talk about it. What? Well, we put it on the next one and talk about it. And meanwhile, we'll think about what we can do to yeah. get somebody to sign on this one. Session. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know, man, but it's getting... Yeah, it's, it's not good. Mm -hmm. We're coming down to crunch time now. Randolph ain't got no help either. Uh, no, Randolph's struggling yeah. too. They got Bernie working full-time almost. And he's I do know. He's 90 years old. Yeah, yeah. so oh that, if he's working down there full-time, he ain't got help us. It's a closer ball. How's payroll looking? We get to vote on payroll? Uh, it's, yeah, they got nobody okay. in the village. Yeah, we're good on payment orders. Okay. Um, so I'll then I'll make a motion that we approve today's payment orders. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Here's oh. last time. Fred Wade, he gets 26 bucks an hour. Lauren, how many do you have, how many folks do you have in Roxbury? We're full. We got three. Yeah. So it's you and two other guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could quit Rock right and go somewhere else. <laughs> and they know it. How do you feel about Braintree? I know. <laughs> <laughs> they don't pay enough. That's oh, how I feel on. about Braintree. We got good oh, balance. Okay, so. How's your eyesight? Randolph. Yeah. <laughs> Randolph, one of their hired men down there, we've been there four or five years now. He's been working for them a lot less than Charles has been working. And he's getting over 26 bucks an hour. Mm -hmm. I've said it right along, I'm going to say it again. You're going to have to pay more, we're going to get the ballot. We, we provide vision and dental. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's about what's in your pocket. Vision, know, right? vision pocket. dental, here, health insurance yeah. does not put groceries That's correct. or a car under your ass. Well, if you can't see well enough to drive. <laughs> I know, I'm not being very pathetic. But it's the truth. So how many weeks do you want me to run it? Another two, three? Until we, until Phil, just keep, okay. keep doing just keep, it. Keep doing it, okay. I don't know what else to do. Yeah. Put it on the agenda next time so we can talk about it though. Okay. Please. Because we may want to, between now and then, think of something. Yeah. 
You're paying them anyway. Yeah. You guys, you know, when you get the fourth guy, so let's pay them for doing the job of the fourth guy, which is okay, but you're paying them anyway, that rate. So figure out that rate yeah. and pay them that hourly rate. For the fourth guy, you mean? For the third guy? No, for, for, the, the, for the guys that are here. Yeah. Right. All right, do the math, Lauren. Come, come to the next meeting with your spreadsheets. <laughs> I was going to enlist Derek, but he decided he was going to log this winter. I mean, my, my point is you're paying Dylan what this kid's getting paid in Randolph, same age as Dylan. Yeah. And he's just a truck driver and equipment operator. He has no say, he just does what he's told. Where Dylan, on the other hand, is responsible for the help, he's responsible for the equipment, and responsible to make sure the roads get cleared and sanded. <clears throat> and you're not rewarding him for it. And I shouldn't say anything because he's my stepson, but I'm going to. It's a, it's, a, it's a real point. Well, we're Something to think about. That speech for next, for next meeting. Right. Um, you guys already heard the speech. <laughs> for right before you abstain. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I think this town is just too small. It's a problem that we're running into. I know a lot of people in town, but they're not all my relatives. Poor Luke, he's still stuck here with us. Mm -hmm. Luke's stuck here with us. Oh, he's just waiting. Oh. He's waiting for the Gavel to draw. Oh, yeah. Select board. This is Rowan. Rowan, this is a Oh, Rowan. I thought your name was Luke. Sorry, my apologies. <laughs> so we'll we'll see you tomorrow out? night, too, at the town hall. No? Someone else? Miscommunication. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. They tried to send him somewhere else tonight, though. Gave him the wrong address. He I think this is the first time that Orca has ever, hmm? since I've been on the board. That's what they told me. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you. Rowan, what did you say Big about the brain tree again? Brain tree, what? Okay. I put him on the spot. I haven't heard of brain tree. He never heard of it. <laughs> are you a German? Should I be talking about it? It doesn't matter. Oh, it's fine. Yeah. We're very We're informal. pretty laid back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's no. Down, it's, yeah. We, this is the most people we've had here. Ever. <laughs> and how many? <laughs> like, yeah. Especially since we since talked COVID. about the like Roxbury has yeah, yeah, we usually sit many. here by ourselves with Janice and Jesse. So every meeting lately. What? The trash thing? Just a bunch of drama going on up there. A lot of drama. I'm a, I'm I could do without it. I mm -hmm. oh, do without it. Sorry, Keegan. No one's even offered to help you. No, it's okay. <laughs> it's fine. You're just trying to make sure you match up some of the numbers. And I believe that's what I'm doing. <coughs> but would you like me to give him to Dan next? Because he's actually the only other person technically. Um, yeah, you should share. That. Authorized sign to uh, sign them. Yeah. To check them and sign them. <laughs> So Dylan wants to reclassify Duplo further down, lower than the bridge. Yeah, but I talked to him today. I just, if we're going to do it where we are, it seems like we should do our best to make it where we're not asking people to park at each other's houses to turn so, around. Yeah. So another thing we need to think about, if we're not, we're not going to have at least three guys on the road crew this winter, we got to think about maybe finding a contractor to File and sand some roads. Yeah, we've talked about maybe it. somebody yeah. that does the pickup work or something like that. A little beyond pickup work. Yeah, right? it's going to take because we have truck. three. We got three bus. Three routes. buses. We have somebody in a big truck. Uh, Randolph yeah, it's not, is considering doing it's it not because they have no help. Yeah, it's just a big. Going to contractors. Oh, man, well, yeah. we might have somebody that can right, help let's us talk out. About so, it. like I said, I'll try to pin it down. Is it cheaper to hire contractors to do the work? Or just go up in our freaking rate because contractors ain't cheap. Yeah. No, we should 
No, it requires a it's some more it requires it anyway. big trucks because mm -hmm. of the bus routes. I hate to tell you about it, but and we don't have any reality. on anybody as nope. a part timer at all. Oh uh, yeah, one. Dan all had one. one bite and then they never. No, I have I have some part time. <clears throat> okay. People. I I know one guy that'll come drive the pickup. Right, but I just I know somebody that might drive the CDL. Okay, I know we're good. Okay. I do believe. Thank you, Dan. Appreciate you. Um, okay, I'll make a motion that we approve the payroll warrant. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, Are you going to do them separately or? Oh, oh yeah, do, you're right, because we have one for August 17th. So oh. we'll do that one oh, first. Right, and then it's do been the August a few weeks. First. Okay, so I'll make a motion that we approve the payroll warrants for August 17th and for August 31st. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Perfect. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. Yeah, you sign them. Yeah, sign them. I'll make a motion that we adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.